Hey, welcome to our Advent devotions. We are looking at four key words from the four Gospels telling us about the meaning of the coming of Jesus into the world. Today we're in Luke's Gospel and we're looking at the word rain, the word rain, and we're in Luke chapter 1. And we're going to look at Mary's response to the angel Gabriel's words in verse 29. Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you are to call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over Jacob's descendants forever. His kingdom will never end. Now that amazing promise to the young teenager Mary was that she had been chosen or favored by God to bring the promised king of Israel into the world. Every young Jewish girl hopes that it'll be her. And Mary is the one who is chosen for the task. And the son of Mary is said to be the promised son of David, the king who would rule on Israel's throne forever. And that goes back to the promise of 2 Samuel chapter 7 that was given to King David. And so Israel had great expectations for this king. But Luke is going to show us that this reign of Jesus goes way beyond just Israel's king and son of David. The great focus of Luke's gospel is the kingship of Jesus, not just over Israel, but over all the nations. And because of who Jesus is as king, verse 32, he will be great and will be called the son of the most high. In other words, the son of God. He is the king of, over all kings. He is Lord over all lords and his kingdom will never end as that verse continues. The impact is global and eternal. Such is the greatness of Israel's king. It's going to affect every one of us. We've just had uh, local government elections in South Africa. Uh, here's the interesting thing. Even if you didn't vote, and a lot of people didn't vote in the local government elections, even if you didn't vote, whoever is in charge now, it's going to impact you. Whatever rules they put in place, speed limits and taxes and so on, it will impact you, even if you didn't vote. You see, how much more so then is it with the coming of King Jesus into the world? If he's king of all kings and lord of all lords, the ruler of God's kingdom, his reign is going to impact on you, whether or not you voted for him or not, whether or not you believed in him or not, whether or not you trusted in him or not. Sooner or later, his reign is going to impact you. The question is, what are you going to do about it? The reality is, if his kingship affects all of us, Will you bow the knee to him now and call him king? Or will you wait until that last day when it will be too late for many, where everyone will have to bow the knee and acknowledge that Jesus Christ is king? And they will bow the knee before him, not as savior, but as judge. Will you bow the knee to him today as your savior?